Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Relics, and we're going to continue our Pikmin adventure. We're doing a bunch of night expeditions, or we have been, and we're going to do two more, as you guys can see. We have two more leaflings to cure, and we are just going to do those real quick for day 38, day 39, and on day 40, we will combat or, you know, see whatever it is that Louie is up to in the Giant's Hearth. So as you guys remember, we have a level 3 difficulty and then a 4. So we yet to see a 5, which gives me the indication that we will uh, have another location to go find. Uh, keep in mind, part of the main story, we're looking for this person named Nell. So we could find a cure for Ochi, so he can leave the planet with us. Which gives me the indication that we will find a level 5 difficulty night expedition along the way. Uh, but for now, we're going to do Line of Logs, which is a three, in the Giant's Hearth. So each of these will probably just be one Luminol, which will be easy. Uh, as long as it's only one, you know, the only thing we need to do is protect it. Now, as you guys remember from the last time, if you guys were watching, uh, we fought two Smoky Progs, and he was no uh, easy task. So... We need to watch out because if I get too distracted by the bigger guys, they are big bad guys like him, uh, we may find ourselves lacking in Pikmin somewhere else and we may lose. Now Smoky Prog, there's two of him by the way. That was one issue. I wonder what else will be ahead. Because the only thing I could think of is maybe like saying like an Emperor Bulblax at us. That would be pretty scary. But it looks here, we see two Luminoles actually. One here, one here. So, that is quite the uh, development. Because if we uh, finish this, we, we will get two cures, which we only have two leaflings. So, I wonder what that means going forward. We'll find out. Um, in which case, that will be the first time that we have an extra cure on standby. So, uh, we got Trickno over here, which isn't exactly easy to access it's up the middle and that seems to be the only one so uh, I'm gonna start by going behind me I'm gonna send Ochi to protect the orange one so you guys start on that you guys start on that and you guys start on this there's a couple star pieces over here I'm gonna have you do this You guys get started and all that. Uh, now, I need to head up. Here, click these real quick. I'm gonna ignore the enemies for now. Cause I need to get this trick null as soon as possible. Uh, we're here. Oh look, we bull bear. I'm gonna ignore the bull bears for now. We need to get as many Pikmin as we can. Alright, anyone attacking? Yes, we have one over there. Alright, so Oshi should be fine for now. I'm gonna go back and protect my uh let me know. Of course I'm gonna attack this guy. Alright. We got a slug dude. Attack my Pikmin. There we go. Alright, so now I'm gonna head over here. Ochi looks like he's gonna be attacked soon, so we might make sure he's okay by himself. Get a couple of these dudes over here. More Pikmin going. I didn't mean to call Ochi. There you go. Whoa, look out. Oh wow, he's a big beastie. Wow, the fiery bulldogs are quite strong. 
I don't remember them being that powerful. Oh, there he is! Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. We got Emperor Bolblax, let's do it. <laughs> I see? I knew it! I knew he would definitely be one of the monsters. But, easy. No problem. Get those. The rest of us will be over here. So the luminal is going to start being attacked. I'm gonna ignore you first. The bull bears. Ooh, he took a bite out of me. Holy crap, I lost a lot of HP. I definitely don't want that happening again. Oh, I forgot. Bull bear, dwarf bull bears have HP. Not, they can't really die at instant death. Bull bears are too strong. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop you. How's Orange doing? Orange is doing fine. Well, he is getting hurt by something. Alright, Ochi is under attack. Ochi is dead. That Luminol is pretty tough. Oh no, Ochi. Let's hurry and get the little port back to base. Alright, so I gotta go over there. So, these big guys are actually very troublesome. Hurry, hurry. Huh. You actually get a good number on this one. Alright, the big guys are all going this way. Another Bulblax. So it's a good thing I stockpiled my, uh, my, uh, what's it called? My, uh, oh boy, that was not supposed to happen. My, uh, what I'm trying to say here, ultra spicy sprites, right on my screen. So this is the last one. It wasn't too hard. Did I really need to use my sprays? No, not really. At the end at least, but I have them. Might as well use them, right? So unfortunately Ochi died, but he did a good job. He did a good job defending against that bull bear. Gave me time to get over there. Good job, Ochi. So now that I realize that the Emperor Bulblax, which I did, <laughs> I predicted that he would show up and he did, uh, he took one bite out of me. No, wait. No, it was the Bull Bear that took a bite out of me. And he did half my HP. I'm going to have to go back to my material, or uh, I'm going to talk to Russ, and I'm going to have to get the extra durable armor. Because that, if I die, then obviously I will probably mean I lose. So, don't need that happening on me, right? What's up this time? Welcome back from your night expedition. At last, I can make the medicine, and it's all thanks to New Blood here. Well done. I'll have medicine formulated by morning. Just wait and see. <laughs> Alright. 
So with that, we should have two cures. We're able to cure two leaflings, and that's all the leaflings we have. Right, administer the cure. Uncharted planet Taurus Lapi, home planet of Kud Kudgyo. Kudgyo, that's an interesting name. A painter who joined the tour so he could paint these never before seen landscapes. Sadly, he left his art supplies behind. Well, that ain't very good now, is it? Research Task Force recruit Ren, home planet of Enohe. A winner of competitive cook show, he was invited by the task force Le lead task force lead to join led to join them and discover the new flavor profiles. He was invited by the task force lead to join them. Lead to join them and discover new flavor. That's weird. Who wrote this? That's a weird way to say it. Anyways, uh, Russ, I need to talk to you. Uh huh, you create a new item. You say that every time. Alright, I need the tough stuff. Tough stuff plus uh, air armor. Harness the invisible power of air with inspiring power of science. Harden your spacesuit against damage. Huh. I'm um, sure. That's actually perfect, I guess. Oh, so HP. Uh, Ochi could get more HP, however, I'll run out of materials. Um, I don't want to run out of materials because I don't know what's up ahead. For all we know, there's going to be more stuff. So actually, I should have maybe got him extra HP and not me. Alright, so we're going to do the last uh, night expedition, which is the Giant's Hearth. Abandoned Throne, a 4 difficulty. So that, one, that last one was quite interesting. Uh, the Emperor Bulboxes. So I wonder... We did Smoky Progs, Emperor Bullblaxes, and Fiery Bullblaxes. What's next? I actually can't think of anything that's going to be hard. Armored Beetles? Maybe? I may need to use Globe Pikmin Seeds. Maybe. We'll see. I did mention that we may need to use them going forward, but not sure if we do. I wonder what monsters will spawn this time. Giant's Hearth. Yeah, the only thing I could really think of is maybe like an armored beetle guy coming out, or... Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> I really can't think of anything else. So we see a slug already. What do we got? So we got one Luminol to protect. Uh, doesn't look like we get a Trick Null at all. There's only, what, one, two, three, four, five, only five enemies. So that gives me the impression that either something will spawn that I don't know about, or these are really tough enemies. So let's uh, quickly get on this. I'll have all 10 get that real quick. Just slug there. Right, you guys get that. You guys get that. Oh shoot, look at that, it's a spider. And a couple leaf dudes no less too. I heard it, Pikmin. Alright, so I can't spend too much time collecting. Because the spider's coming right now. Alright, so we're gonna need to use Ochi to take out a couple of these guys. Ugh. Ow, I bit him. No, he got my Pikmin. Oh, shoot! Oh, that was close. We should be able to just run these three over. This one didn't get run over. Ow! 
picked at us. Alright, you guys still give me some stuff. Uh, how are we going to deal with the spider? I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Haha! <laughs> Alright, so let's try and see if we can take this guy out. I can't even reach him. There's still two other enemies. How am I supposed to reach this guy? Oh, they're gonna climb the legs. Ooh, they got squished. Oh! Wow, how convenient for them. <clears throat> Alright, so I don't have enough Pikmin. And see, he seems to be doing a really good job squishing my guys. So, first, uh, let's use a couple of these. Next, let's use this. So I just gotta hope my Pikmin can kill him. I just want to hit. I don't think we're going to last, huh? I'm going to step on it. See, that's not fair. I can't actually uh, throw enough Pikmin onto them. So, look, we got our first loss. Yes. What does Dingo have to do with anything? So, okay, so just real quick, I want a little rant about that. I know it's supposed to be hard, but the fact that I can't send my Pikmin up to attack him is kind of concerning. Because he easily shakes them off. <laughs> right, um, see, I gotta try and attack him now while he's uh, moving, right? Because if I don't, he's just going to uh, come get me. It's also a little bit at a time, I guess, and pray that they can kill him. Or at least do some damage without being killed themselves. In the meantime, I will go and hunt. Okay. 
hit us in pretty quickly. So they're doing damage. Still a few more in there. Still got some plant dudes coming at me. So I'm going to throw out some more seeds because we're going to need them. Alright, so now that we got all these guys collecting these things, I should have Pikmin enough for this fight. They should weaken him enough by now. Alright, so once I get all my guys, I should be able to just uh, do this. Should be strong enough to just kill him now, right? I pretty much got all my Pikmin here doing this. Um, I'm gonna try to throw more Pikmin, I guess. Thing didn't end. Oh, there it goes. How weird. Okay, so it was. And I, I don't like how we can't send the Pikmin to attack him, but I guess that's just the kind of spire that he is. Um, I, I'm pretty sure I was able to do that before. I'm pretty sure he's the same one that we saw in Pikmin Three. We should have been able to attack him from the ground, but I guess not. Um. I did use a lot more materials this time. I used uh, quite a bit of a few sprays as well as glow seeds. But again, we have over a hundred, so it's not like, you know, I'm in dire need to keep them or anything like that. So it's not too bad, I guess. Uh, learn from my mistakes, right? I gotta attack him early. Uh, it just felt like the first time around, he was killing, he was easily stomping all my Pikmin. It was almost like my Pikmin were purposely going under his feet just to die. This time, I sent what? maybe like eight to attack him and they didn't die quite you know at all so they're able to keep doing damage even though they were keep uh getting flung off oh well rng right that's all it is as far as pikmin getting squished by a spider uh so we still have over 100 as you guys can see we got 18 extra seeds so we have 19 119 seeds now considering i've used quite a bit it's not too bad Welcome back from your night expedition. At last, I can make the medicine, and it's all thanks to new blood here. Well done. That was the same conversation as last time. What the heck? You guys ran out of dialogue this far in the game? Come on. Alright, so now we are on day 40. We have no more leaf things to cure. So, we have cures standing by, as well as we just need to go in there and see what's up. First, I'm going to talk to you. Seems like we got quite a bit of the pup drive, whatever they're called. Yeah, Ochi's pup drive. So, um, so I'm going to give Ochi this just in case we run into something that requires a hundred. Because we could, if I got it, Ochi would have been able to carry the ham that we couldn't finish the last time in that one cave. Big chump. So he'll get stronger physically. I'll take that too. That way he can do even night expeditions by himself if needed. Mega Rush. Uh, should uh, Stun duration, energy charging speed. Sure. Sounds good to me. Doggy paddle. Okay, I don't care about swimming. Pluck, that's fine. Dig, that's fine. You don't need to be digging. Heal and command. Um, I don't really need this either. So I guess you can he learn heal. <laughs> that way if he does die again, this time he will be able to come back and help me. 
Alright. So, I'm gonna just stop there for now. Because, like I said, we are probably going to go to another location. Because, as we remember, uh, in with Ochi, or uh, with Louie and Moss was not Nell, but some blue-haired character. I wonder who that was. Do you guys know who that was? I think I know who it was. And it was a Copite, no less, right? And they're in Pikmin 3. They're main characters of Pikmin 3. Alright, Giant's Hearth. One more rescue to go. And it ain't Nell. Yeah, this thing takes too long to load. <laughs> Alright, I mean, there's literally nothing here, right? And yet, it's still taking time to load. Alright, Ochi, let's, let's go over there. Let's see what Louis is up to. Oh, so it actually isn't someone we know, I don't think. I thought it was. There are, there they are, Louie and Moss. I see him. At least the Copite castaway looks safe for now. We need to get him to hand him over. See, this is, see Moss, Moss is stupid. Omar, you should just get rid of Moss. Screw her. She just obeys whoever feeds her, I guess. He ran to that cave. What does he even want with that castaway? You gotta chase him down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go. See, shouldn't Olimar be here doing this? It's his stupid uh, co-worker, right? Hot Sandy Duel, five minutes. Rescue the Copite. Red Pikmin only. See, Olimar is just as lazy as everyone else. This is a level five Dandori, so this will be the most difficult one so far. Or was Olimar's level five? I don't remember. If it was, it didn't seem like it. Huh? Is this for real? Louie, wait! And poof. Leafling. Huh? Or not. No, but look closely. What? He didn't become a Leafling. What's going on here? I'm not sure, but he's not being cooperative. Louie, it's Olimar. Can you hear me? Louie! He's not even listening. That's unfortunate. Guess we'll have to rescue the castaway by force. There's no way to predict his next move, so be careful. Oh, what the hell? How do you do that? Oh, you carry that. Right, grab my Pikmin, and we'll do over here. Fiery bull blocks is an extra good dude now. Huh? Alright, so we need my Pikmin. I need to get that fiery bull blocks. Ooh! I don't know what I'm doing. 
I'm rusty at this. <laughs> Alright, the rest of you. Come with me. Get him. Boom. Alright, you get that. Oh. Get off. with the bomb. Oh, we could take it to the uh, movies, I guess. Yeah, take those all away. No, you can't screw with the bomb. It's kind of a point. Get that too. It's all work together on it. Oh, I just blew myself up with my own mind. Okay, well I got the giant pair, so I'm I'm gonna win no matter what now. That's that's stupid. This is supposed to be a level 5? This is way too easy. How do you do that? How did Moss do that? She's not even here. Was she on my screen? What? I don't get it. Moss was not on my screen. I'm pretty sure she was not on my screen. So I don't know how that happened. Not to mention, I was the one transporting the bomb. I don't get it. You guys will have to clarify for me. I'm going to have to go back and watch this. I'm pretty sure there's no way that Moss transported the bomb from their base to mine. And again, this makes no sense. Again, Olimar, let's just kill Moss. <laughs> I know, a little violent, right? But Moss is being a an a-hole. I know our priority is getting the castaway safety. Rescue the co pipe. Yeah, I, I just don't understand this. I, I don't get any of this at all. Um, again, Louis just being a troublemaker for no reason whatsoever. Honestly, Olimar could just leave him for dead. And no one should even care. Because <laughs> he's so annoying. Louis is probably the most annoying character in this entire game. He's the most annoying in Pikmin 2. Because he gets he gets left behind. And he doesn't even help us. He's annoying Pikmin 3. Because he doesn't do anything. He stole our fruit and juice. And then in this one. He's just being annoying. Because he doesn't want to you know join us. I just don't get it.
Alright, so once we get this person back, we're out of here. And that's gonna be the day. I don't need to be doing anything else, I don't think. Do I need more Pikmin? Uh, we have the Rock Onion, right? So, here, you know, I'll work on some Rock Pikmin numbers. Just so we have enough Rock Pikmin going forward. Let's take a look at their ID badge. Treasure Hunter York, home planet of Kopai. Grandson of the famous Kopai scientist Dr. Drake and partner of Dog Don Bergman. He's talented at rewriting communication devices. So I thought this was uh, someone else, but he's not. York, you alright buddy? Speak to me. He appears to be unconscious. Let him rest for now. We'll have plenty of time to uh, ask questions once he wakes up. So I guess none of these people will be the same from Pikmin 3. That's unfortunate. Alright, so I'm just gonna add to my numbers here. I don't need that. Um, doesn't seem anything over here. So I haven't been here in a while, and yet the uh, monsters didn't sp respawn. It's quite interesting. Okay, well, a few here and there makes all the difference, right? There's one dude all the way over there. Uh, let's call him back. Everyone come back here! So what is that? 70... 72? Uh, rock? It's not too bad. Let's just see if there's anything else. I don't want more pellets though. That's it? Really? Wow, okay, that's kind of disappointing to be honest. Alright, let's uh, let's just get out of here. Forget it. End of the day. Let's see what is going to happen going forward. Alright. Like I said, we're probably going to go to a new location, because that's the only thing I can think of now. And again, the, just the thought that Olimar forgot that he even had a partner here to begin with, and he's like, what, Louie? What's he doing with Moss? Like, um, didn't you know that you just left him behind? Shouldn't you have told us that in the first place? Again, this game just doesn't make sense. The story's... The story's kind of out of whack. Honestly, I'm not I'm not a big fan of it at all. It's very disappointing that Pikmin is actually kind of going downhill for me. York, thank goodness you're alright. Dobbs, you're safe. I am. Nell, on the other hand, I know you're still getting your bearings, but do you have any idea where she might be? Sorry, but no, I lost sight of her early on. Guess I'm pretty slow runner. Then you really were the last person to see her, Dobbs. Can you remember anything else? Which direction she and the dog ran? Oof, let me try and put myself back in that spot. Hmm. I remember something. The giant dog carried her deeper into the forest, way past where I had fallen down. Hee <laughs> hee, I don't believe our radar has, can effectively reach that area. The SS Shepard's radar signal has already been boosted close to its limits. I'm not sure we'll be able to extend its reach any further. Would you mind if I take a look at it? I'm pretty good with machines. And of course, he just happens to be able to do it. First, we do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. All done, we're good to go. That was amazing to witness. Let's inject the sparkling and see what happens. And of course, since we have found every single treasure, uh, we sh will automatically have enough sparkling anyway.
further upgrade the radar. Uh-huh. So I'm going to remove the limiter and start up the radar again. Let's see what it does. Let's see. That did it. I can't believe there are so many SOS signals coming from that unexplored area. The scientific prowess of Kopai seems to be remarkably close to my own. I won't underestimate them from now on. Well, those signals can be coming from Nell. Saving her is our first priority. You sure about that? You sure about that, Captain? I'm probably going to do everything else but save her first. Alright, and with that, we didn't even need to uh, get more uh, glow sap for medicine because we don't need to cure anybody. So that one pilot counts for 14% of the location's progress. That's pretty weird. Alright, tomorrow, let's explore a new area. You mean, me. Not you, not we, me. Just me, no one else. Not anyone from the rescue crew, not anyone from the any of the explorations. Not even Olimar, not even this new crew. No one's gonna go out there with me. You guys suck. Thank you again for saving us. I don't think we'll, we'd be alive if not for you. York, that reminds me, we saw you get sucked up to the onion, but you seem completely normal. Are there any sort of ab abnormalities that we're missing? Any of these growing on you at all? Um, no, not that we noticed. So strange, I can't help but wonder why didn't you turn into a leafling? The juice or his spacesuit? Uh, juice, I guess. Oh, yeah. I bet it's because of all that glowing juice we drank. Mm -hmm. Of course, you were ingesting nearly pure glow sap, so leaves must have been broken down before they could sprout. It's just a theory, but it's an interesting one at that. I don't suppose you let me conduct an exper examination later. <laughs> if Yanni's theory is correct, then Nell may have not turned into a leafling either. You're still rescue You'll still rescue her though, right? Yes, please, we need your help. Calm down now, of course we intend to rescue her. That's what we do. Nell's waiting for us deep in the forest. Let's hurry up and find her. We can't let her and Ochi down. And there's nothing new to look at. Alright, so let's take a look real quick. Take a closer look at the SOS signal and and saw that the rest of the castaways are located in the area we just uncovered. No, the veterinary should be among them. We're getting close. Alright, so if we take a look, we unlock another location with 13,000 extra sparkling, which we do have. Primordial Thicket. Primordial Thicket. Interesting. So there is eight rescues here. Sometimes we will have to do night expeditions, which it's annoying. <laughs> um, what could possibly be worse than the spiders? I wonder. 89 treasures. And there is an onion here. So. Okay, so. I'm going to end it here for today. Just because uh, we've done uh, quite a bit. Uh, we did two of the expeditions that were pretty difficult. So there's a lot to uh, review. Not to mention we had a, a Dandori battle with Louie. Which I want to go back and see. I want to know how that bomb got placed in my onion. Because that was a close battle. I would have lost that last second if I didn't have a ton of Pikmin in my control. So, in any case, if you guys enjoyed this, hit the like button. Comment down below what you guys thought. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And share the channel if you can as well. It really helped me out. Um, again, stay tuned for the next episode. We are going to the next location. Like I said, I had predicted that we were going to another one. And we are. Uh... Also, we have the other two guys over here. Let me see. Treasure Hunter York at your service. Thank you again for rescuing me. See, so again, they don't even say anything. They don't even do anything. They're just going to let me do all the work. And he says the exact same thing as before. So it's pretty sad that all these characters here that we rescue, have they don't do anything. Look at them. They're all just here. They don't do anything at all. They don't support you in any way, and it's very disappointing to see that. And then we have Olimar here, who's just idling at his ship, in which he has his own shipwreck tail, so... I don't know if I even want to do that. 
Do I have to do that? I'm not sure. Maybe I can do it later. That'd be kind of nice to do, but in the meantime, I really don't care. Because right now, I'm just trying to do the main game. Not his. This is not his story. This right now is my story, right? Look, look at me. Look at my eyes. Any case. <laughs> Anyways. Alright. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. Stay tuned for the next episode, and I'll see you there. Bye-bye.